Voters have just a few weeks now to make up their minds before heading to the polls. This week, we are profiling the candidates in the 24th district that includes all of San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties and a portion of Ventura County. Tonight, we spoke with both candidates in their campaign offices, and News Channel 3's Tracy Lair has more with Congresswoman Lois Capps. For 16 years, Lois Capps has held her late husband's seat in Congress. They were newlyweds while graduate students at Yale. After moving to Santa Barbara, she worked as a public school nurse, while Walter Capps made his mark teaching religion and the impact of the Vietnam War at UCSB. She helped her husband win a traditionally Republican seat in 1996, but he died of a heart attack the following year. Lois Capps, the daughter of a Lutheran minister, poured herself into the special election and won. I think about Walter and the, the strong marriage that we did have that keeps me going, but I, I know that there are many challenges facing so many families today. Another family tragedy followed. Their oldest daughter, Lisa, a Berkeley professor, died of lung cancer. Capps said she poured herself into legislative work after her daughter's death. Family is important for us all, and I, there's time for that as well. But there's a job to be done, and there's a job to be done in the United States Congress, and I'm asking for people's vote. She recognizes the deadlocks in Congress. Still on a typical day in the nation's capital, she touts her ability to work with the opposing party. I have a record of working across the aisle. On the farm bill now, so important to agriculture on the Central Coast, has a provision in it that I worked on with a Republican colleague from upstate New York to standardize organic farming. When she's not on the House floor, she is usually in her 24th district office. No days alike because uh, we have uh, constituents who want and need services, passports, and all the rest of it that comes to the congressional office where I work. Or she's in meetings serving the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. We have issues today of concern about fossil fuels right here on the Central Coast, oil and gas, and we want to make sure renewable uh, energy has a place in that portfolio. That's the committee I'm privileged to serve as well. And then the, the bell rings and it's time to vote on the floor. Her home in D.C. is a simple apartment. It's not fancy at all. <laughs> Come and visit. <laughs> and local children often do. School children stand on the Capitol steps. I tell them uh, that's one of my favorite parts of, being, of this job is to welcome uh, middle school students. Eighth grade, they study American history. She says she's concerned about the future of children, the economy, and war. I didn't support the war in Iraq, uh, and, and I know that we need to work with our allies to find a resolution to the crisis facing us today, uh, only working with our allies. But her tenure hasn't been without controversy. Earlier this month, protesters picketed outside her Santa Barbara campaign office. They blame Caps and her district director for enabling her staffer, Raymond Marua, to drink and drive the night he ran over beloved local bartender, Mallory Dice. She died from her injuries. Marua is now serving a 20-year prison term. Caps considers the controversy the cost of being a public servant. Elections come around for my job every two years, and people can register their concerns at the ballot box. She is well aware of her opponent's name recognition among movie fans. His dad was a very, very famous movie star. Did you like him? Oh, of course. Everybody did. Robert Mitchum. <laughs> but even the National Republican Party concedes Caps has more name recognition. Even though women are still a minority in the House, she'd like to change that. We're not there yet by a long shot. When you um, are in the visitor's gallery and you look down at the people's house, it doesn't look like the people of the United States yet. I'm doing my part. We need to do more. Her part, she believes, is to stay a congresswoman. Voters will decide that November 4th. And tomorrow night, a 101 with Caps' opponent, Chris Mitchum. We'll be right back.